our conscious brain for granted a lot of the times and a lot of the people I'm sure the people you've talked to also don't give our conscious brain a whole lot of thought do you find this to be true or not true I am looking for comments in the chat so I'm going to share a little thing with you here today because your conscious brain that part of you that's always thinking always working is broadcasting outside of your mind so you have a thought or you're thinking of something that thought and that vibration does not stay in the brain it goes out to the universe to the world to the environment around you it's everywhere around you but it's not staying in your brain so when you send out broadcasts and you know you're doing it now because I've helped you with that when you're sending out broadcasts from your brain from your conscious brain what are those broadcasts saying about what you're wanting to do or what you are doing because now that you know <coughs> excuse me that your conscious brain the brain that you think with constantly that brain is putting out energy it's putting out thoughts it's putting out maybe solutions so when you're broadcasting to what you're wanting maybe it's not you're not even sure what you're broadcasting how many times have we as people been thinking about something and we're just putting it out there and then all of a sudden something happens or someone comes and it's like oh I was thinking that and now look now look what happened it came but we don't think about it and we don't acknowledge it when something happens like that or when it comes to us and that is a given and I just want to help you today to open up a little bit more on the broadcasts that were that we're experiencing every day but like I said most of us don't even realize that we're doing this it's because as we grow up you know whatever environment we grow up in everyone can be different it's we don't want to all be the same oh heavens no but when we grow as we've grown up we've always broadcasted out to the world and these energies will be attracted to that same energy so if you're thinking something and you're broadcasting it out you're putting that energy out while well, you're tuning is what you're doing and that energy will attract and connect with a like energy and that's where you get the term like attracts like and it comes from the conscious brain this is actually uh, quantum physics and again no I'm not a scientist I study a lot um, this is actually quantum physics where they have measured the brain waves outside of the brain it's not the part where you do the, the EKG and you put all the wires on and you can monitor the brain and you can see what's going on in the brain up here no it's quantum physics where it's you're monitoring and you're analyzing or gathering the vibration of the brain thoughts and waves that are coming from a person who is thinking we're always thinking our brain has actually three parts it has the conscious brain it has the subconscious brain and it has the unconscious brain and these three parts of our little brains that are up here in our head working together to create the world the life of that we are desiring that we want and when we realize that we are working every day to fuel our energy to use our words creatively because your words as part of your subconscious your words send out the broadcast they send out the feeling and they attach that feeling and that word together and that is total energy and so whatever you're doing and not doing that's what's creating the lifestyle you have now 
or it's creating what you have going on in your world at this point, at this moment. And keep in mind that we are creating every minute. We are manifesting something in our lives every minute. Even if you can't see what it is you're manifesting right now, you're manifesting something regardless of what it is you're doing. So when you're in a place and you're mentally and emotionally sound on what you're doing, you're emotionally sound on what you're creating. So in order to reach the goals that you've set for yourself, and you're the only one that can reach these goals, no one else can reach the goals you set for yourself. It's all up to you. And now that you know a little bit about that it's quantum physics that is working in your mind and your energy out in the universe to out around you. And I don't mean God, the universe, because God is everywhere, but I mean the energy around you, the energy. You have an energy field around you. And when you um, get hooked up or you get into an environment where the scientists can monitor that, then you can see the spikes and the falls and how great this is and how it's working and how you are creating everything around you. So self-talk is a huge benefit as you're using quantum physics, as you're using your mind, your conscious mind to broadcast out to the universe to attract back to you what it is you're desiring. So what I do, this may or may not work for you. But um, as everyone knows, I, um, I work online and I had to learn all my skills working online when I switched over from the corporate world to the online world, which was two different things. So what I learned was marketing was my key. I had to learn marketing in the fact that it had to relate to my online presence. So when I also learned how quantum physics was working and that my energy from my brain, from my mind, my thoughts and my emotions were attached, then I learned how to incorporate that into my marketing. And when I learned how to incorporate that simple factor, my self-talk, my quantum mind that's what i call it i don't know what anybody else would call it but i call it my quantum mind because when i learned that i had this power inside my brain with my three brains working together right up here that i could create anything i want i could manifest anything i desired i just had to apply myself i had to believe in myself and i had to give myself self-talk Self-talk is critical. Whatever you're doing, you have to self-talk yourself into success. So as you're doing this and you have goals and you're not maybe reaching all of those goals right now, but hold on, I have notes. Ah, didn't want to miss anything. I want you guys to have everything you need. So I always write notes to myself. So I hit the key points. These are trigger points that I need to remember. So when you're doing this and you're getting you in there and you're realizing that deep down, deep down, you have to get deep down inside your, um, in yourself and your self-conscious or your conscious mind and your subconscious mind, your unconscious mind. What is it you really want? What is it? that will really, really make your life complete, that will make your life whole. What is it that you need to have happen for you? What is it that you need to do to make it happen for you? Because if you're not manifesting what you want, there's a huge possibility that it's going by you because you're not in tune with it. So if as you're putting out these frequencies with your thoughts and your vibration, which is emotion, 
is attached to that. And like I said, when I did this and I put it into my marketing, I put my emotions, I put my energy, I put all the people I was going to help, not by name or anything like that, but I put a mass amount of people that I was going to help. And how by helping, I'm giving. And by giving, I'm receiving. When you can be in the joy of giving and then in the receiving mode of receiving you can be in that plane of quantum energy i guess is the best way to put that of what you're putting out you're receiving back so what you're putting out goes back to like attracts like because when I put it into my marketing, as I was learning all the skills of marketing, and there's a lot. So I guess what I'm going to say here is if you are not seeing success in your business, it might be your marketing. It could be. It was, it was mine in the beginning when I first started. It was my marketing. I was doing it all wrong. It was not good at all. I was doing everything wrong because it was different marketing on the physical plane of brick and mortar rather than marketing online, which is totally different. So I was doing it wrong. But when I learned how to do it right, and then I decided I was going to put my energy and my vibration fueled by my words, I was going to put that all together into my marketing i seen success blooming and blossoming. And in choosing that I was going to use this part of my quantum world to grow my business as part of my giving, you have to give. If you're, oh, if you're going to be successful, you have to be willing to give. Whether it be money or training or something, you have to be able to give from the heart. And for me, this was something I could give from the heart, aside from my donations to charities. That's a different one for me, which I always have to give to charities. It's just, you have to do it. I just, I don't know how not to do it. Put it that way. So as you're doing this, and you're using your conscious broadcasts. Know that your conscious mind broadcasts outside of the mind. It broadcasts outside of the brain. And when you know this, and you're conscious of this happening, you will be so much easier for you to connect with what your goals are to create and to achieve. And if you haven't already, if you haven't met your goals that you had set for yourself to create to be completed by whatever day that was, a lot of people out there that I'm chatting with have had goals that they wanted completed by December. And there's a lot that have not reached that date. And in talking with people and finding out that they're still in the same place emotionally, mentally, um, than that they were a year ago. And if you're still in the same place and you haven't moved forward at all, then that is got you on a plateau where you're not in motion so let's get you in motion a good example is um okay this is this will work i'm thinking of an example okay okay have you ever gone to a i'm sure you have a high school reunion or something you know where you looking back at your past, your life, and what you've done, maybe it was high school, maybe it was college, whatever, you've gone back to a reunion, and you see so many of the people are still in the same place. They're still talking the same way. They're still basically acting the same way, dressing the same way. They still go to the same club, the same restaurant. They still, they haven't moved forward. And as you, if you're coming into this and you're advancing and you've already advanced past that phase of your life and you've made success in whatever way you've done. But if you're looking back and you look back at 
how the stagnant stays. And you, you can look back and see, oh, well, they haven't gone anywhere. They haven't done anything. So this could be, if you're seeing this and there's yourself, to where you're not progressing forward, to, <clears throat> excuse me, to where you want to be, it could be that you're just not past that hump that you're stuck on. Okay, and the best way to do that is to start using your words to benefit you. I am successful. I am prosperous. I am happy. I am healthy. I am wealthy, whatever you want to say. But you have to feel it and see the change happening. Or it could be part of your goal. I am reaching this goal by whatever day you choose. And get the tools you need to do it. If you find you don't have the skills you need to create the goal or to make it happen, to create it, get the skills you need. That could be holding you back. We don't have to be held back. In this day and age, we have so much knowledge at our fingertips. It's a matter of working for it, studying, and implementing it. You can't create just by sitting and watching it happen. Or you can't waste your time scrolling around on social, and then your day's gone. And what did you do? You scrolled around and looked at people's stuff. What does that get you? Nowhere. Zero. You deserve more than that. You deserve better than that. And quantum physics shows that we think outside the brain and our energy goes out. So those thoughts we're thinking that we think are stuck in our brain, they're actually going out of our brain and uh, the energy is all around you. So think cautiously. What are you broadcasting outside of your mind, outside of your brain? What are you broadcasting out there that might be holding you back? It might be stopping you. It might be launching you forward. Whenever I have a thought that comes to me that maybe I can't do something, or maybe I'm around people that just keep talking about government and all that crap that's going on in our world, you have to learn how to block that crap out. Basically, it's crap. It's going to hold you back, and it's going to get in the way. So let it go. But use your conscious brain to broadcast good, positive, reinforcing energy. Because that's what you're going to receive back. And it's quantum physics that's proved this. And use these tips. And if you're having problems like I did in the beginning in my marketing. I'm trying to think here. I will make time to help you. Anyone that is having problems that needs to know more marketing, I will make time to help you. Let me know, okay? I have pretty much got that wrapped up, my goals wrapped up for myself, and I've started on my 2020 goals. So, with that being said, I am going to wish you all a blessed day, and thank you so much for joining me here today. I am grateful for each and every one of you. So thank you so much. And anyone that does need help, you know, with the marketing, maybe just wants to know a little bit more about different ways to market. How about no ads and get sales? That's my favorite. Okay. I will chat with you later, guys. Have a super great day, okay?